Hello, Hill Science students. This is Professor Van Dyke with your week 10 and 11 video. Uh, it's going to be pretty short because there's, as you know, we're focusing on the papers and the presentations for weeks 10 and 11. Uh, your paper is due um, Thursday, October 29th, which is week 10, and your presentation is due November 5th which is week 11, that's also a Thursday as well. So I wanted to give you that information. Uh, and again, I'm gonna post a, an announcement on this as well so that you can have it. But uh, the important dates post, make sure that that is the dates that you're going by. Uh, make sure that you know exactly what's going on as we're working our way up to the final. I know it's been a challenge to do these online courses uh, for both you and for me. I, I miss being with my students and certainly, um, uh, appreciate all the hard work that you've put into this very novel time in regard to education. I know it's been a real challenge and I hope that you're getting something out of this course. Uh, I've gotten a lot of um, emails in regard to risk assessment and lots of great examples on that so I do appreciate that. So with week 10 and 11 uh, this is what we're going to do <clears throat> and obviously I can't um, have attendance points because it's a real challenge to try to track who is been coming um, to watch the videos and is actually paying attention to the announcements and things like that. So uh, what I'm going to do is this, um, just to <clears throat> kind of um, incentivize you to continue to watching these videos uh, and, and looking at the PowerPoint presentations and whatnot. Um, what I'm going to do for week 10 and 11 is I'm going to ask you to write a very, very short summary of two of your classmates' papers uh, or their presentations. So you can either read the paper or you can watch their presentation. And I would like for you to just give me an overview of what it is that you um, watched or read. And uh, what I'm going to do is, as these get turned in, I'm going to uh, post them in Blackboard. So it gives you a chance to read some of your classmates' papers and also uh, watch some of the videos and I encourage you to think about what it is that you like and what you don't like about their videos. Uh, obviously when you reply to me in regard to your class attendance points which is 20 points uh, you don't I, I don't want you to tell me what you liked and what you didn't like about the papers or the presentations I just basically want you to tell me that you read them and tell me what they were roughly about which should be pretty easy to do the papers are not long so I encourage you to read as many of your classmates' papers as you can, and I also encourage you to watch as many of their presentations as you can, because it'll give you an idea of what works well and what doesn't. And certainly, as we move towards an era where there's going to be a lot more collaboration and communication online and over the computer, this is going to become an important part for you as you move forward uh, with your life. Uh, there will definitely be a lot of times where you will be doing uh, presentations or writing papers and submitting them and reviewing them and working online collaboratively so I, I need you to do that and uh, for week 10 and 11 you only have to do two a combination of paper and presentation or uh, all papers or all presentations whatever works well for you so uh, that, that's not going to be due until the end of the semester but I encourage you to just get it done um, that way you're you're all ready to go uh, I, I, I know that um, this Thursday coming up we're gonna have most of those uh, papers will come due so you're gonna get access to the papers before you'll probably get access to a lot of the presentations but I encourage you to turn those in early that way I can post them. I will ask, I will ask for your permission to post them um, on, on Blackboard, so keep that in mind. If you don't want your paper or your presentation on Blackboard, uh, just go ahead and let me know, okay? So again, um, Thursday, October 29th, your paper is due. Uh, your presentation is due Thursday, November 5th. And then uh, before the end of the semester, I want you to write up what you had had a chance to review with your your fellow classmates, papers, and presentations. So you only have to do two, okay? So keep that in mind, and a great job on your midterms. You all did very well, and keep up the great work and finish strong. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure and send those to me at william.vandyke at csusb.edu, and you'll also be submitting your paper and your presentation to me 
via email. You can do that by putting it into a Dropbox. You can directly email it to me. You can use um, like a Google file share system, whatever works best for you. So keep that in mind that this is designed to uh, be facilitated to be as easy as possible for you. Uh, but at the same time, if, if there are issues that you have that you can't make this work, we will find another way to do it. But you have to ask me. You have to tell me. Um, you know, if, if, if there's no way for you to send your paper or your presentation to me, uh, we can figure something else out. But again, uh, you have to communicate with me, okay? So meet me halfway on this and talk to me and let me know what's going on. And um, we'll finish this semester strong. I appreciate everything that you all have done. I know this has been a very challenging time, so keep up the great work, and uh, all of you are uh, at, at very high grades right now, so I encourage you to finish strong and, and stay focused, okay? So with that, have a wonderful week 10 and 11. Make sure and send me your questions. Uh, as you know, I answer my questions very quickly from my students, so send those questions to me, and let's uh, have a, a great semester for the remainder of the semester. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.